Please. Hey, Frosty, your side on your side. On your side, I. Uh, supply drop, okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a little bit different video for you. I want to discuss what I think is wrong with Battlefield 5 and if it can be fixed. Now, while I do have a beautiful face, I'm sure you're not here to sit and watch me talk. So, let's go ahead and hop in game. That's definitely better. Okay, so a couple of nights ago, my squad and I, <laughs> my squad, anyways, we were playing uh, several rounds of Breakthrough. That's our favorite game mode. It's always been my favorite since Battlefield 5 came out. It, it reminds me of the Rush game mode, which was my favorite. It's always been my favorite. I digress. Anyways, we were playing several rounds and we ended up paired with a squad that was really good. As a matter of fact, possibly just as good or better than, than our squad actually was. And we ended up on the same team. So every round, every single round, every game that we played, every map that we played, whether we were attacking or defending, we just completely rolled over the other team. And it was really, it wasn't very fun. And it really got me thinking about map design and the game design and the balancing that they have in this game, or they don't have, they just don't have it. This really came to a head in the current game that you're watching right now in Twisted Steel Breakthrough. We were defending, and as you can see in this video, the entire team is up on this embankment and just firing into the enemy's spawn. They can't even get out of the spawning area. They're just getting mowed down. I think they maybe got to the RA flag like twice. It was just, it was sad, really. It seems like DICE, when they were creating these maps, it's almost like they had two completely separate teams or just as an afterthought through an objectives. Like it was like they have one team over here that's uh, making the map, designing the map, and then they have one team over here that's designing the spawn and the objectives within the game modes and they, they didn't collaborate at all. It's like they're just like two different teams. So they, they say, here's the map and then they throw on the objectives or the spawning and it just, it's, it's not well designed. Very rarely since Battlefield 5 came out, uh, after a month or two, people really got a feel for the game. Very rarely have I felt like a match could go either way. It's either been ba unbalanced one way or the other. I've played both sides of it, and honestly, neither side is that fun. I I don't want this video to come out like I'm complaining about the game mode or Battlefield in general because I, I love it. The core gameplay of Battlefield 5 is amazing. The other issue that Battlefield 5 has, and it ties into the map design and the objectives and the spawning, is it encourages camping. I mean, look at the MMGs, the heavy machine guns. They you literally have to lay down or place your bipod on something to even shoot. Like you literally have to camp just to use them. What you usually end up with is two sides camping their wieners off with one or two players actually playing the objective. And those players that are actually playing the objective, it's, it's really, it, it can get really frustrating. Now, if you have a full squad like I normally play with, you can overcome this and it makes it a lot more fun. This game is designed for squad play and it encourages that, which I understand. But you can't always play with your squad. And even when you are, sometimes if, if your squad's the only one going for the objective, then sometimes that isn't even enough. One squad out of 64 players sometimes is just not enough, no matter how good they are. Now, this brings me to the grind game mode, which they just recently introduced. No thought, no design, Oh, I know a good idea. Let's make the map smaller with less flanking routes and encourage more camping. That sounds like a wonderful idea. These problems have existed since the game was released. And I think part of the reason that they're like this is because this game was rushed. It's like they designed the core game mode and then they just rushed everything else. I have a few proposed changes that I would like to put forth to throw out there to, you know, let you mull over that could improve Battlefield 5 right now. All right, so I'm gonna start with the breakthrough game mode because that's my favorite and that's what I play most of. They need to make the first attacking point the easiest to take. 
Like, that's just game design 101. The very first objective should almost be a gimme. They need to take it and make only one flag at the very first, then you have two or three as you progress. But the very first objective needs to be just one flag, so it encourages the team to attack the same objective at the start of the game. The other thing that needs to happen is they need to move the spawns back. The very first objective, take Devastation for instance, at the B flag, you can fire straight into the enemy spawn. Like you don't even have to move, just look right into their spawn and shoot them. They should never be that way. They also need to add more cover when you're coming out of your spawn. Once you get that first objective, it changes, the map changes, because now you have the cover, you, you're farther into the map, it's, it's a little bit different, and I don't think that needs to change as much. But the very beginning, there, you should never be able to fire into the enemy's spawn for any reason. Now, number two, let's fix the color. This is just ridiculous. Again, I'm gonna go back to Devastation. It's so dark. There are players just laying down in corners that you will never see. This is accentuated by the fact that you can prone into these weird positions. Take for instance this example here. Look at this guy, he's just laying here. He looks dead. I really thought he was dead. And then I have to tap him with a bullet just to see if he's alive and lo and behold, he's freaking alive. Look at my teammate out in front. He didn't even see this guy. That's how bad prone camping is in this game. Let's adjust the way that we do this, okay? I think that there are some changes that we need to make for proning in this game. If you remember past battlefields, you couldn't prone because they don't want you to camp. They didn't want you to camp in the past battlefields. They want you to play the objective. I think that that could be adjusted in within Battlefield 5 now. I don't think it will, but I think it should be. And I would like to propose some changes for the next game coming out. There are two options that we can do with proning right now. One of them is make support players with MMGs the only players that can prone in the game. Now, if you don't like that idea and you actually like to be able to prone, like to get behind cover if you're being shot at, which I'll admit is nice and I kind of like. If you want to keep prone in the game, make support players the only players that can fire while prone. Now, this still presents some MMG camping issues, but I think if MMGers are the only ones that are prone firing, they'll stand out more, they won't be that big of an issue, but it will still be a viable method within the game. Now, new maps. We know that the Pacific Theater is coming to the game. I want to see these changes implemented into the new maps. Design them with the game modes in mind. Keep those teams together, you know? You know, just throw their desk right there beside them. Also, with the new maps, make them iconic ones. <clears throat> I realize that DICE or EA or whoever designs this game wanted to do unknown battles of Europe, uh, unknown battles of World War II which in theory, it sounds like a good idea, but really it's not. We want to play iconic battles of World War II. We want to feel that feeling like we're in World War II. Right now, I might as well be playing Battlefield 1. I don't know any of these places. I don't know any of these maps. They're not familiar to me. I mean, this could just be called random battles of Europe for all I care. I don't feel like I'm playing World War II. So give me Wake Island. Give me the Battle of the Bolt. Give me D-Day. Give me Dunkirk. These are the experiences we want to have. For the most part, I try to stay away from the EA bod conversation because I really I really believe that DICE is a good studio. EA is not very good with customer service. They're just not a good company in my opinion. But they are there to make money and if we don't like the game, don't buy it. That's just as simple as that. Now, I realized there was a little bit of advertising in this game. They didn't really come through with what was promised, which is an issue. But DICE is a good studio. They make great games. I think that this game was rushed and was just put out there as fast as they could because they're focusing on, hopefully, Bad Company 3, if you've heard the rumors, which I'm super excited about. Battlefield Bad Company 2, oh, it was my favorite. I love the Battlefield series, and I want to see it succeed. I want to see that player base come back. And I want to play with you guys. I want to play with the entire player base. I want to be able to hop on any server for any game mode that I want. Well, there you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave me a comment. and Let me know what you think of these ideas that I want to add to Battlefield or subtract, whichever you want to say there. Also, let me know what ideas you have to improve this game. We all love Battlefield, and we all want to make it better, and we all want it to be a game that we enjoy playing. So let me know down in the comments what you think also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. This is a bell if you haven't already. And remember, 
always come first.